So this is a video on how to get look to learn to work on the Toby Dynavox eye gaze. And so similarly to working with help kids learn or with yeah, with help kids learn, you want to make sure that repeat click is um, turned on. And so again, there's a different video on how to add repeat click to your TD control menu that pops up. So you should watch that video first. But once you do that and you're ready to use look to learn, the first thing that you're going to want to do for um, your student is bring up the menu by doing a quick swipe up. And so right here is where I programmed the repeat click. That's what it looks like. And so now it is programmed. So you'll see that it's this little tiny circle and that's how you know repeat click is on. So now we're going to open up look to learn, which is this little app with the two eyeballs. And so the one thing that my colleague and I realize is you do have to press on it. Oh, I think it's still loading. There we go. Press on it to get it to go. So we want to do look to learn. So we're going to do explore and we're going to do fart clouds and start. So now you've set it up for your student and so now it will work without having to do any extra clicks. Awesome. Let's try a different game. Trying to remember how to exit out. Just yeah, just do the exit. Okay, so I'm going to go back. So let's try to do, what's another popular one? Uh, target? Yeah, do a target. <clears throat> I'm going to choose... Do bubbles. Or let's do some or bubbles. Snowman. Okay, let's do some bubbles. Very cool. Okay, so now let's say you are done with this and you want to make sure to use it for communication. You do have to turn repeat click off. So exit out of your look to learn and you want to bring swipe up from the bottom and you want to click this X and now repeat click is off. And so you'll notice that now it's this big circle and it's no longer the small circle that is what tells you that repeat click is on. I hope this video helps with look to learn.